America has now explored a new region of the moon that Americans have not seen before. A small spacecraft just took a big leap forward in NASA's push to get back to the moon. It's called Blue Ghost, the first private spacecraft to successfully touch down on the lunar surface. It arrived March 2nd, and since then, it's been conducting a series of 10 experiments for NASA, all of which were successful. The only hiccup, the lander's onboard drill could only reach a depth of three feet instead of 10 feet, as expected. I think they ran, ran into some challenges and kind of probably expectations that were different with respect to the surface and, and what lies beneath. After it completed its task, Blue Ghost kept collecting data and taking pictures, including the first ever high definition sunset images from the surface of the moon. Now its solar batteries have shut down as the long lunar night takes hold, and it's unclear if it will power back up again. We're all engineers, we're all very curious, so we are going to try to turn the lander back on after lunar night. But regardless of whether its systems restart, Blue Ghost has already proven that a public-private partnership to explore the moon can work. And NASA says it's likely the first of many joint ventures to come. I think that Firefly um, Blue Ghost Mission 1 is what I would call an existence proof of how we wanted commercial lunar payload services to work. The lunar night lasts about two weeks, which means we'll have to wait until April to see if Blue Ghost powers back up. In New York, CB Cotton, Fox News.